Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use TextMesh Pro to create a text object like the one we have on screen, starting with importing the true type font necessary to create the style, to how we're going to create the custom sign distance field font atlas uh, to apply all these different treatments, uh, to basically how we're going to create the objects um, and apply those treatments. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import our true type font uh, inside of Unity. Next, we're going to uh, open the custom font atlas creator that is uh, included with uh, Text Mesh Pro. We're going to select our font. Uh, I'm not going to bother going over all the different settings, but this is your font or the font that we just imported. We're going to choose to make it a sign distance field. Um, there's a lot of functions and features inside of the Font Atlas Creator, uh, but as I said, you know, I'll cover those in a subsequent video. So right now we just want to get our Sign Distance Field Font Atlas. Uh, once we have it, we'll basically save it uh, right there. So I already have it, so right now it's just going to overwrite it, which is fine. Uh, now we're going to actually delete these current objects because we're interested in starting from scratch. So first thing off is we're going to create an empty game object, which I'm going to name Text Mesh Pro. And we'll call it this one the red zone, which is the main text. Uh, let me adjust the transform to put everything at 0, 0, 0. We're going to add a component of type mesh and we'll pick our Text Mesh Pro. Now by default, Text Mesh Pro assigned the Arial SDF font. So we'll just type red zone, which is what we add, and we'll add our underline. Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong place. So we have our underline. We're going to uh, pick our technique font that we just created the atlas for. We're going to choose a center anchor. And at this stage, we basically have our font inside of Text Mesh Pro ready to use in texture. So now in this case, um, I've already created some presets but if I, for example, wanted to add a border, you know, I could easily do that. All these uh, tweaks or changes are all dynamic. So in this case, this is our main logo. First thing we want to do is uh, drag uh, a material, which is the metal material that has bevel and glow onto our object, which is right here. So this gives us our main treatment. Next, we'd like to create the shadow object. So we're going to create a duplicate. I'm going to move this duplicate uh, further in the back. Um, then actually, I'm actually going to select it and rename it so that way it won't be too confusing. Uh, now since it's a shadow we're going to actually move it sideways and move it down. Now as you can see it's using the same material which doesn't look like a shadow. So how would you create a shadow material? Well it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a built-in context menu that allows you to duplicate a material which I just did. It automatically assigned its duplicate here, which it called Glow 1. So I'm actually going to rename it Shadow 2 because I already have a shadow. I didn't have to do this. I'm just showing you right now. So Shadow 2. So we'll go back to this object. So the shadow object basically has a face that is black. Um, it doesn't have any thickness. We're going to disable the bevel and the glow. So now we can see that we have our uh, shadow behind it, but it's fully opaque. So we're basically going to go here and add a little bit more transparency. And we can add softness. So now if I zoom in, you can see that we have our shadow object back there. Now the next thing we're going to do is add our blue glow. So we're going to control D to make a duplicate of this. Uh, actually, I'll pick this one here. I'll rename it blue glow. We're going to move it a little bit behind. And in this case, I'm going to use the glow that I've already created and drag it on this object, which is right there. And basically we have it. So this is how simple it is with Text Mesh Pro to go from uh, importing the true type font to creating the custom font asset uh, using a sign distance field to use in Text Mesh Pro to apply, typing the text, creating the objects, uh, creating all the offsets, and that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to post. Until next time, thanks for watching.